Hello and welcome to another OpenShift tutorial. In this video, we're going to see how to push a Docker image that you have built on your laptop to a Minishift environment or maybe a OC cluster environment. So Minishift is a tool set for building applications uh, based on OpenShift on your laptop. So Minishift will basically create a OpenShift cluster on your machine. So let's go ahead and see how we can push Docker images uh, into the registry. When you spin up a Minishift environment or a OC cluster of environment, you will see something like this uh, for the Docker registry URL. So this is where your Docker registry is hosted. So your Docker daemon needs to accept this as an insecure registry because uh, when OpenShift hosts this registry, it will be on a self-signed certificate. So you need to make your Docker daemon accept this registry. So copy that registry address and then go to preferences. And then just like you add any other insecure registry, add this and enter and apply. So this will accept this as an insecure registry. And we'll wait for it to start. After that is done, I'm going to spin up a local OpenShift cluster using OC cluster app. But this will be same, as, same on the uh, Minishift environment as well. Only the URL might differ, but everything else will be all same. Alright, so the talker we started already. I'm going to start OpenShift cluster. So this will start a local OpenShift cluster. The other way you can do uh, is using Minishift and then start, but I'm going to not use that for, for this demo. So it's almost starting up. So now the OpenShift cluster is up and running. You can log into the OpenShift cluster using this command, uh, this uh, URL. And then to log into local OpenShift cluster, you can use this uh, command that you see to log in as a system administrator for that cluster administrator for that uh, uh, local OpenShift cluster. So when you execute this command, it is going to use a certificate which is residing in this a in this uh, file. So kubeconfig, uh, there will be a file that is generated automatically at this location, and then that will be used as a certificate for logging into the OpenShift cluster. Uh, not able to recall that, but this, you can uh, assume that there is some file that gets generated. Once I log in, I'm going to log in as a user called Chuck. And uh, currently this user is a non-privileged user like uh, this user doesn't have any cluster privileges on the OpenShift cluster so I'm going to make this user a cluster administrator to do that it's pretty simple you just need to run a command called ocadm policy add cluster role to user and then cluster admin and then give the user name so this will make user a cluster administrator and you can see everything now now if you go to default namespace, this is where your Docker registry will be hosted. Uh, create a route for that whole registry by just hitting that create route button and then um, create. So you'll get a URL here. You cannot do anything with this URL uh, because uh, it is Docker registry needs to be exposed on HTTPS. So I'm going to kind of make this route secure route so just go to applications and routes select the route which you have created already now and then click on actions edit and then click on security sec, uh, secure route checkbox that's it and then keep the termination as edge termination and then save now it is exposed on https route now that the route is exposed we can go and log into the openshift cluster via docker so to log into this cluster, all you need to do is get the token. Uh, you can get token from here or from the CLI as well. But I guess I just clicked on 
command line tools and then I can see that this link click on this copy to clipboard put that in a notepad and this will be the token to log into your internal registry once that is there all you need to do is docker login and then minus u username is chak and then password is uh, this token and the registry address is nothing but this one so this is going to log into the internal registry you can see the login is complete now that the login is complete with the internal registry we can build a docker image in my case i have already built docker image uh, this is my docker image i am going to push this docker image into the internal registry so how do I do that? To do that, I need to basically tag this image pointing to the internal registry and also uh, create an image, uh, image stream before I push the image. So what is image stream? Think of image stream as Docker image but with some more capabilities. Uh, what, what are those capabilities? I will discuss in another video. But uh, think of uh, image stream as just like a Docker image. Okay. So, uh, in the namespace, which is nothing but uh, my project, I want to create an image stream. And so, it's pretty simple. You just say OC create is, which is which means image stream, and then give the name. Uh, sorry, it's, this will be go welcome, and in the namespace my project. Okay. So now the image stream is created. After the image stream is created, you just need to tag this image corresponding to the do internal Docker registry and then push that image directly. That's it. So I'm going to say Docker tag, uh, give the complete address, and then the complete internal registry URL will be something like this. So the registry URL slash your project name, which is my project, and the image stream name, which is nothing but go welcome. I'm just gonna stick with the latest so this will be my full docker registry uh, name for my application so docker tag and then once the tag is complete I'm gonna just push that image into the internal registry so if I push now you can see it got pushed and it will be available inside your registry now if you want to deploy that application or the docker image all you need to do is click on add to project uh, remember that I'm in the right namespace here and then click on deploy image select the namespace which is my project and then image stream is go welcome this is what I pushed in the version and then just hit create so this will pull the image and then deploy your application as a container inside inside your OpenShift cluster now you can see the application is up and running pretty quick because that image is already there and then hit create on the route now you can see my application got deployed I have a nice uh, route created already so click on that and you can see my application is up and running pretty quickly so this is how you can push images into the internal registry this is also applicable for any external registries all you need to re do have is the docker registry URL and the token to login so make sure when you log in the minus p uh, flag for your docker login should be the token not the actual password that's all right thank you very much